Well, we are following breaking developments in the case against Corey Bigsby this afternoon. Allison Basil joins us live in the court outside of the courthouse, I should say, in Hampton. All right, Allison, you just learned some disturbing details in the case. We do want to warn our viewers this may be hard for some to hear. Allison. Yeah, Ashley, Bethany, prosecutors called officers from the Hampton Roads Regional Jail to the stand to read several statements. They say Corey Bigsby wrote or told them back in August 2022 and December 2022, and he had officers read those statements aloud in court. In it, Bigsby talks about the day his son Cody Bigsby died. In the statement, he allegedly says, quote, I found my son unresponsive, tried CPR. I could not revive him. The officer on the stand says Bigsby dictated this confession to him, and the officer wrote it down. The officer says, Bigsby said he tried several times to revive him and asked God to save him. Bigsby says he went outside to talk to God. Bigsby says he realized Cody wasn't coming back and he says, quote, he put him in a trash bag, put it in the car and it sat for three days. Bigsby says after he put him in the car, he drove to Garrett A. Morgan Boulevard and buried him. A second officer took the stand and testified about a statement she got from Bigsby. She says Bigsby allegedly wrote that on January 30th, 2022, he stepped out of his apartment to get items from his car. When he returned, he found Cody laying at the bottom of the steps unresponsive. In the statement, she says Bigsby says Cody must have fallen. He also says he buried him. And another officer testified that they found a letter in Bigsby's jail cell in his notebook where Bigsby says he allegedly killed Cody. The officer says Bigsby writes he hit Cody's head on the floor, hit him with his fists and put him in the fridge and buried him. Now, the court is on a lunch break. The judge could possibly rule to suppress these statements. That is what the defense is asking for. The defense attorneys are saying that jail staff allegedly coerced Bigsby into writing these statements. And, of course, we're going to keep you updated on all the happenings today. Live in Hampton, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Allison, certainly a developing story this afternoon that we will stay on top of. Now, to get breaking news alerts sent straight to your phone in cases like this, you can do that by downloading the 13 News Now app. Scan that QR code. That way you can stay up to date even when we're not on air.